this is Yolanda Van Veen. And in this segment, we're gonna talk about how to grow apple trees. Now, apple trees have been around as long as man's been around. And even the Bible mentions Adam and Eve and the apple tree. So it's so directly related to the human history. And I find it fascinating, all of the stories and all of the different history related to the apple. But apples are easy to grow too. They're pretty much native to almost any area on the earth. Apparently they really came from Turkey and into the Middle Eastern area and then they spread throughout the world way back in history. As soon as man was walking around they were taking apples with them. So when you're growing an apple tree you can either start it from a seed but it's much easier just to buy a potted tr fruit tree from a garden center and that way you can get fruit very quickly. So make sure and plant it in full hot sun cover the root up, have the stem come out of the ground, and make sure that you water it really well in the heat of the summer, especially if you, if you have a new tree. If it dries out, you might lose it. So make sure and water it really well. The best time to plant your apple trees would be in the middle of the winter or even early spring. You don't want to start them in the summer when they might dry out. But if you water them well, you can pretty much plant them any time of the year. Now apple trees really need that full hot sun and they need other apple trees to cross pollinate. If there's no other trees in the area, you probably won't get fruit. Plus they need bees. So if you live in an area where there's lots of bees, you'll get fruit no problem. But in parts of China now where they're not getting any bees, where they don't have bees at all because of the pollution, they're actually having to hand pollinate the trees by taking a piece of bamboo and a feather and they actually wipe the pollen off of the male part of the blossom, they dry it out, and then three days later they wipe it onto the female part of the blossom on the middle stylus part, and that way it'll produce fruit. So hopefully we'll have fruit for many years to come, and they're a beautiful easy plant to grow, and as long as you water them well in the heat of the summer, they really don't need any care. I do like to trim mine back after they're done producing fruit every fall, but never cut your tree back more than one-third the height and that way you'll always get fruit and you won't kill it because if you cut it back too far you might kill it. And make sure when you're trimming back a young tree you have one base plant and you've got at least two main branches coming off of it and just trim out all the other little branches every year so that you can control the growth a little more and it'll be a lot more bushier than just having a medusa type tree like these wild trees here. They're a beautiful plant as well in the garden and they make gorgeous fall foliage and they're a great addition to your garden.